welcome back to this Python tutorial session. In this session, I'm gonna talk about IDX Max, IDX Min, Arg Max, and Arg Min. Let's go! As you remember, in the previous session, we talked about the filter. You can find the video here, but in this session, we are looking for the location, the maximum, and the minimum elements in Pandas. Let's jump into code. First, I need to import some libraries such as NumPy and Pandas, and then I want to create a data frame. I set that df pandas as a data frame, and I create it by the name of, for example, cost, the value of the cost, for example, I don't know, 125, just the random values, and also. I can uh, add a salary as another column. So for example, 25 per hour, 15 per hour, and for example, 55 per hour. And also I want to print a data frame here. It has a problem. You can go and check it. Oh, it should be actually the list, but I pass here the dictionary not bad so here is the data frame with the cost and salary in columns and also it has a tree index okay what does the idx max do here actually the idx max looking for the maximum value but the result of idx max is not the specific value but actually it gives us the location of the maximum value let's try that i said that df.idxmax and also i have to uh, actually pass the access value for example if i said that the zero is looking for the index value and compare the indexes together for example it said that let me try this one it said that 125 uh is bigger than for example 456 or 85 just compare these three values together and it finds the maximum one for example 456 is the maximum value here but it doesn't return us the 456 but actually it returns the location so what is the location here it's the id1 in the indexes and the cost in the column so it gives me cost and id for index as one what about the next column actually it's compared the indexes together the value of different indexes together and it said that for example the maximum one is 55 but it gives us the location of 55 it means that the index number two and the column name is a salary as you can see we get a salary and the index number two here but what does it happen if i say idx max with the axis for example one actually it looking for the columns and compare the different values in the different columns together for example it compare 125 with 25 and it said that 125 is bigger than and it's a maximum in these rows so it gives us the location of 125 and the location is index 0 with the column name is cost as you can see it gives us 0 and the cost but this column also is all the values is bigger than the salary so all of them is as a cost so if i change some of them for example this one or this one into the 100 for example 28 and if i run this one as you can see the third row 125 and 85 it compares this row together and it says 125 is bigger and the location of this one is the index 2 and the salad so when you pass the one actually it's compare different columns together and when you pass a zero it's compare a different indexes together Let's go and talk about the IDX mean. The IDX 
ix min actually adds the opposite of i to x max and it said for example df oops, df dot i to x min and it needs an axis of course and for example if i pass a zero let me print a df here if I pass a zero here, we expected that compare different values in different indexes in this direction. And if compare all these indexes together in the column cost, it gave, give us 85 and 85 is the minimum value here. And index two and the cost column is the location of 85. And also for the second column, if it's um, compare all these values together, the 15 is the minimum one and the location of 15 is index one and the salary. As you can see, we get the salary and the index one here. We can check it with df.idxmin, actually with uh, value of one. And it compares a different in value one, it compares a different columns together and in this row, different columns is here, the cost and the salary and the minimum value is 25. So the location of 25 is a zero and the salary, as you can see, it gives us the zero and salary. And for the next row, the 15 is the minimum one and it gives us the one and the salary, as you can see here, it gives us a one and salary. And for the third row, the 85 in the cost column is a minimum, so it gives us index 2 and the cost column. So this is the location of the minimum and the maximum value in data. But what about the argmax and the argmin? Argmax and argmin are similar to idxmax and idxmin, but it works on a series. If I said pandas dot series and I create a random series, for example, uh, I don't know, 12, 15 minus um, 96, I don't know, for example, uh, 254, I don't know, 35. And if I print this series like this, I can get the value of the maximum value of the series. Uh, sorry, the location of the maximum with the argmax, not by idx max. So, an argmax gives me the maximum value, the location of the maximum value in series, but it doesn't need to pass any value for axis because it has just one dimension. So, if I want this one, as you can see, it gives me number three. It means that the index number three has the maximum value. Let me check here. This index is a zero. This index is a one. This index is a two. And this index is a three. As you can see, 254 is the maximum value of this series. talk about the argmin as i said the argmax and argmin are also work for series and indexes so let me try this one with index pandas that index and let's create a random uh for example indexes 41 48 and i don't know 49 and if i print the index here i can get the in dot uh, argmin and it's uh, actually similar to idx uh, min sorry and it's the opposite of argmax it gives us the location of a uh, minimum value here and it doesn't need an axis because uh, index just has a one dimension okay if i run this one it gives us a zero because the zero index has the minimum value if I, for example, add something here, for example, 12, and if I run this one, it gives us 3 because the 3 index is the minimum value in the end as an index. This is all you need to know about giving the location of the maximum and minimum in a data frame, uh, also series and indexes. If you have any question, 
please comment below. If you like our video, please give me a thumbs up and watch our next video. Bye bye!